I know, Daddy. It's a lot of money. I know you would if you could. Really? That's great. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Bye. 150 to get it before this weekend. Dad said he could lend us 100 or 150. That's all? That's enough to pay for the passport. There must be someone else who can help us. We don't need it for long. Tony, wait. Vodka. No taste. This is stupid. It won't work. Okay. Stay with Terry. Go on selling yourself like this until you're old and ugly. We're gonna get away from that pig. I thought you didn't like washing blood off the walls. No one must spend. May his words live forever. May his words keep on shining among you. Nine hundred and fifty dollars. I'm going to make a thousand dollars a week. In the mines. I'll pay you back as soon as I get my first pay. When do you need it? We're going at the end of the week, in the next couple of days. You'll never get a visa by then. She's putting all her passport together so she can get the visa really quickly. Can you help me, Tony? I haven't got any chance like this. I wouldn't ask if there was anyone else. Oh, oh thanks. Child after what you've did to Amanda. But she dumped me, remember? She was upset afterwards. She locked herself in the room. And she stopped eating. Why don't you ask me? She works. She hasn't get paid yet. It's been some hold up with the government. It's been three months now. I don't have nine hundred and fifty dollars, Carl. I don't have fifty. Oh, well, thanks for. I mean, see you around. Wanna join his gang? <laughs> no, darling. Actually, we want to talk to him about a thing or two. Don't we, Benjamin? Lorraine. Hmm. How are you? I'm fine. This is Linda. Hi, Hi. Myra. Hi. So what are you all doing here? We've come to talk to the pastor. He's telling people he can heal any sickness. And he came to the office and called Andy. A corruption. We want to talk to him about it. He'll eat you alive. We better go. Good luck. Benjamin? I was down on the ground and they were kicking me. Can you describe them? One was about 17, the other one was about 20. They were taller than most, I guess. The taller one was older and they were thin and dark. They were wearing shorts and t-shirts. I've tried to find ways of describing them. But there are hundreds, thousands of them like this in this town. It's okay. It's okay. I can't even remember what they were wearing. Don't beat yourself up. There are other witnesses. We know some things about them already. Let's stop there. Just one more thing. 
I have to take your photo. Why? You're going to be in the papers. We have to get a story out there. Ready? <sighs> yes. Okay. What do you want to do when you get out of prison? Find a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Take this seriously! All of you! You want to find a girl just for sex? Or do you want to build a home and have a family? Sex? Do any of you want children? My home? Maybe one day. How would you bring up your children? Would you send them to school? Yes. Waste of time. So your kids wouldn't be able to read or write. Get a job. People go to school and still don't get jobs. If you have children, you should look after them. What do you two think? Did you all go to school? How far did you get? Did you all go to primary school? I passed to secondary. But my dad died. So I had to stop. Oh, sorry. What about you? Let's move on. We are going to talk about the best and the worst thing that happened to you in your whole life. What was the best thing that happened to you? Something that made you feel good. Made you happy. I gave you the money. I'd need it back. Real quick. Hugh, yeah, but you haven't got it. It's not my money. What do you mean? It's rent for the studio. I'm supposed to bank it. I've got it right here. Uh, I'd get it back to you in two or three weeks, as soon as I get my first pay. Steve's a good guy. He'd understand. Mm -hmm. Maybe. You don't know what this means to me. Oh, Tony. Let's get this over with. Yep, that's what we're here for. I'm not sure about this anymore. Sure about what? Hallelujah! Benjamin, he's harming innocent people. He will save us. That's not the way he sees it. I will boot my he abused me over his peer system. My sisters. Look at them. I'm a brother. They all believe in him. 100%. You will feel the flow of energy coming straight from the Lord in your bodies. Your sickness will leave you. You will be made well. God is good. All the time. All the time. Praise the Lord. He was right. We need to get tough with criminals. There were three break-ins last night in the domain area alone. An old lady was beaten up in their own home. They stoned the bus and broke the back window. They were taking a sick woman to hospital. Edward, any news about the boys who beat up Belinda? I just got a call from the school. They found one of the girls. Marilyn's in with the CI. 
I'll get a car. You first. What's your best thing? One Christmas on the island, I went out hunting with the older boys. We walked through the forest, and then we heard the beak. We ran after it through the forest, past these huge trees. We lost the beak. But we came to this deep pool. It was so blue and clear. We were like the first people to touch the water. What about your first girl? Yeah, that too. <laughs> and you? When I hit my dad. <laughs> when I hit my dad. <laughs> we were on our way home. They grabbed my bag and took my bus fare. Tell me everything you can remember about them. It happened so fast. I can't remember anything. I was so scared. One of them was black and, and the other one was wearing a, a green shirt. Listen, Carol. What if you came with us now? We have a car. You can drive around. We might see them on the road some. I have to get home. I can ring your family now. Let them know you're with us and you're safe. We can drive past the place where it happened and then drive you home through town. Will you do that? Was that the best or the worst? The best. <laughs> Why? He drinks. Beats my mom and my brothers. I my little brother with an electric cable. Who's he smoke dope? One night, came home really drunk. He had my mother by the throat. I came up behind him, and I grabbed him. And I slammed his head against the wall. My mom stopped me. He was lying there on the floor, swimming in his own blood. <laughs> it, it was the best! for the boys who be there. If anyone has any information that could lead to their arrest, we want them to ring us. So how is it having Tom as your minister? <laughs> That's a different story. How many brothers have you got? How old are they? Gary is 17, George is 15, Dave is 10, Tim is 7. They're two older ones, but they don't live at home. Pastor, it's time now. Sorry. I want to thank you, Warden, for giving us this time together. And thank you all for taking part in this session. We didn't have the time to talk about uh, the worst thing that happened to you. We'll start with that tomorrow. Are you all happy to come back tomorrow? Okay, we'll finish with a prayer. Close your eyes. Thank you, Father, for giving us this time together. 
Help us to trust one another and give us the courage to speak what's in our hearts and minds. Some of us have known many difficulties in our lives. Some of us have done things that hurt others. Help us to understand what we have done and help us to change. In your name we pray. Amen. Are you a lawyer here? I am. Look, it's nearly five and I have Please to... Please listen. We need some help. Okay. Tell me about it. They put up this notice. They're asking everyone in the area to move. They've sold the land. I haven't sold it. It's my land. You're Malcolm Joseph? Okay, there's not a lot I can do right now, but I'll go to the lands department in the morning and find out what's going on. Come back tomorrow in the afternoon. You've got to stop them. I don't know if anything can be done, but I will try. I'm sorry. See you tomorrow. I'm sorry, Terry. I, I thought it was in reverse. Sorry, Terry. Sorry? Look at that. You scratched the paint. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? That car is a hundred years old. Get ready to go. Maurice can drive you to walk in the bus. He passed his test. Forget you. Ever. Keep moving. You've got to tell him what you've done. So, what did he say? I, I decided it wasn't a good idea to talk to him right then. When are you going to talk to him? I'm going to ask a doctor who wants nurse to go and see your wife. No, oh, she won't believe them. You have to tell the pastor so he'll tell Rostin yes and killed her. There's no point, John. He wouldn't have listened. You didn't even try. You saw those women. The way they looked at you. They believe we are evil. They think we are the reason young people are having sex. It was the wrong time and the wrong place to talk to them. You don't know that. I'm sorry, but I do. Hi, Daddy. Um, Hi. This is Michael. Hello, Pastor Ronald. I've heard a lot about you. Pleased to meet you. He wouldn't let me come home on my own. A policewoman was beaten up near the school. Hmm. That's bad. The police would give those boys a good beating. A lot of them have been beaten all their lives. Mm. I've just come from the prison. One of the prisoners was talking about how his father used to beat him and his brothers. It's good you talk to them, Pastor, but prison is too good for them. They need to be punished for what they've done. Many of them can't read or write. They need to be given skills so that they can find work and not have to steal when they come out again. Well, um, 
I better. Well, I'm sure you'll teach them the difference between right and wrong, Pastor. Thank you, young man. And thank you for bringing Amanda home. See anything? Is that them? Those two? I'm not sure. Maybe. Oh, that's my brother. I told my mom to find some new best suit. Stop right there! Mom! I'm going. I'm going! Tell me! Tell me everything! He's going away next week to Perth to work in the mines. He's going to go way across Australia. He's getting his passport tomorrow, giving it to Sylvia, and she will take his visa and ticket. You're going away. <laughs> so quick. Amanda, Australia. I'm going to Australia. How long for? Uh, we didn't ask. Didn't they say? I mean, it must be a year. Uh, she explained everything to us, but she just forgot to say how long. Yeah, she just forgot. You have to ask her. Uh, Ronald, our little boy, he's going away. Oh. Oh. I'm glad, son. Very glad. Be careful. He'll drink a lot. And I'll call his tipper over there. I won't drink, Daddy. I promised myself I'd never put you through that again. We haven't done anything. Get in the car. Oh, what did that stupid bitch say? Yeah, enough of that. Carol? Are you all right? He wants results. How do we get them? How do we stop robberies? Stand outside of every big house while people in the settlements get robbed every day? Hello? She's here. What does Jimmy want? They have? Okay, I'll tell her. They found the boys who assaulted Belinda. Get me the minister. It's the chief inspector. I'd like to speak to him urgently, please. Tell him I called. They're never there when you want them. No one asked you about it? They didn't try to stop you? You think they'll call quietly? There are a lot of people living there. That's your job, my friend. If they cause trouble? No problem. What are you going to do with the land? I've got an agreement with the construction company. They're going to put the equipment there. Yeah. The drugs need somewhere to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tom? How are you, Gordon? All good. And you? I went round the station today. I want to get rid of that chief inspector. But she's got a contract, and I can't sack her without paying millions in compensation. Make her life as difficult as you can. She'll resign. Do you know what the time is? I've been looking everywhere for you. Nadine, she was with the police. The police? The boys who took my bag and kicked the policewoman. They took me looking for the boys. Why didn't you ring? I did, but your phone was on answer. Go get supper ready. The service is going to start soon.
He's going to kill me, Nadine. I won't need someone to push me everywhere. I'll be able to walk on my crutches again. Amen, George. I'm sorry I'm late. I had a client coming just as I was leaving. I thought you'd changed your mind. Now what? You wanna go somewhere? Hotel? Yes. This is crazy? Crazy, yes. And if it finds out? Don't go back. I can see you're sobering. I can help you. What's wrong, old friend? I have not been in the toilet for three days. Walk! The oh, pain will leave you! My stick. You don't need it! Walk! Who is next? Who seeks help from the Lord? I do. George! You've come to help. I will ask Father. Father, heal this man. He has been cursed with a withered leg. Now his good one cannot hold him. If he has done wrong, he is sorry. And he asks for forgiveness and mercy. Give me the power to heal this man. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. I feel it. I feel it! I feel the power entering these four hands! They're strong! So strong! Pray with me! Pray with me! Oh, thank you, Father! Thank you! Do you feel the strength punching into you? Do you feel the power? The healing power? Yes! Yes! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up, George! Father, give him the strength! Help me, Simon! Stand up, George! Oh, thank you, Father! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, amen! Hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Yes! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, yes! Little stuff! Let me go! Jimmy! They beat up Belinda! Some students recognize them! We didn't! We were just walking along! You can't put us in here! Have they been charged? We're arresting them on suspicion of assaulting a police officer. They'll have to spend the night in the cells. You're joking! We didn't do anything! There'll be an identity parade in the morning. You will stand in line with several other young men of your own age and height. The policewoman who was assaulted will come in. And if she recognizes you as one of her attackers, you will be taken to court and formally charged. If you didn't do it, you will be released immediately. We were just walking down the road and they grabbed us! You can ring a lawyer. A lawyer? Oh, shit, we didn't do it. Make sure they're well looked after. You must try to have faith. Yes, yes. You must believe with all your heart. Yes. Help him, O oh Lord. He has failed this time. But you will give him another chance. I, I almost did it. I could feel my leg was strong. Then... Try to have faith, George. Pray for help from our Father. We need faith. Faith is what keeps us going. Lord, yes. faith is what keeps us going. Yes. Praise the Lord. 